about radio. At the risk of overexposing <laughs> this uh, little uh, antenna rotor, um, I want to uh, share something else with you. And that is, um, uh, as you know, I'm not putting limit switches on this device and I'm relying on the meter readings to actually see that I'm within the um, sort of permitted amount of rotation that I can have uh, on the antenna. And the way this meter is set up now, um, I haven't got a lot of over travel um, and see if I can explain that. Um, I'll, I've got a little marker here, but I'll put that there. And um, it's just a bit of ferrite to act as a spacer there. And I've got a, a full circle protractor here. You won't get to see the um, uh, the readings on it, but I've set that to zero degrees. And we know when I take this through full circle, So I need to adjust my, I've been messing with the control, so I'm just adjusting my span there. Okay, so that's gone full circle. Now, if I want to go beyond uh, full circle, that uh, the, the meter has reached its um, uh, limit of its end travel, and it's only gone about 25 degrees past the 360. And again, I hope I'm not getting my big head in this. Um, now I'm going to just quickly whip back to zero. And that's my zero. Now when I want to go beyond zero in the counterclockwise uh, direction, I'm just trying to see where the meter stops. It's about there, um, and that has only gone um, about 10 degrees past zero. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to modify the meter, and uh, I'll, uh, I'll, I'll come in close so as you can see what I'm doing. So getting in a bit closer, uh, what I want to look at is this end stop here. I think I need to get closer still. Okay, this is the pointer. Okay, so you can see that's uh, on... Uh, zero there and I've got control over that with the uh, um, zero set pot and you can see that's clearly hitting the end stop and that end stop is uh, if I can only get the lighting right is that little device down there yeah um, if I bring my lighting I that's uh, I get that flicker so what I'm going to do is I'm going to move that end stop and be a bit brutal with it okay I'll move the needle out of the way and then uh, with uh, a pair of tweezers I'm going to go in there and I'm literally going to just move that across there now I don't care how far I move the stop, I could actually just disconnect it and take it right out. Now when I bring the needle back into play, uh, let's have a look and see where it's going. Now you'll see it's going well past my zero point. And in fact what's happening now, um, it'll be uh, the moving coil I'm just going to uh, change something. I'm going to push this out of the way. That's the zero set for the meter when there's no volts on it. Um, now you'll see the moving coil underneath is actually hitting, uh, I'll mark it on the, with Photoshop, it's hitting that part there. Okay, so and there's nothing wrong with that, I don't care. Um, 
Uh, so that, that's the first uh, bit of adjustment. This is my electrical zero there. So remember I've got control over that. Now what we'll do is uh, we'll run the needle to the other end of its travel. So that would be my 360 degrees rotation. And then when I want to go beyond, you see there? So if we look down here, now you'll see there's another issue going on. If we get the light in there, because this time the over travel is not being prevented by uh, the end stop, but in fact, as I showed you before, where the uh, the moving coil hits this sort of uh, what you might call armature um, so oh, there's a bit of play there there's, there's got to be something else mechanically stopping it so why is that not going past there ah oh, it is now I think there's a little bit of debris in there somewhere. Before I do that, what I'm going to do is I'm going to move this end stop well out of the way so that um, uh, that will uh, not cause a problem uh, once I've cleared whatever debris is. It's, it's interesting because I was going to talk to you about uh, cleaning a meter uh, um, because I was a little bit afraid that I may get uh, iron filings in there and uh, or a, a bit of uh, wire wool that I had on the bench uh, could uh, you know be off my clothes anyway I'll uh, I'll open it up and show you what I'm doing I'll just see if I can give you a clearer indication of what I'm talking about here just a little bit um, so this is the control that's setting the maximum span there and you see that's hit the a stop but as I increase the voltage so there's that little bit there where it it uh, snaps over so there's a bit of stiction in there so that almost certainly is going to be uh, either some dust or more likely some little iron particle that's uh, stuck on the magnet in there okay this is when the um, movement is at its most vulnerable but uh, now I've got it out of the case, I can see what's going on. And uh, it's a little bit of debris that's in down here. I'll zoom in. And uh, I think you can see that quite clearly there. And that is exactly what I anticipated. It's a bit of wire wool and um, if I move the pointer across I've got a bit of paper here so I'll just uh, just use that to just gently push you'll see that's where we were hitting at the bottom and you can see what's happening look at that oh gosh I think I've dislodged it all together now Well, it, that'll have flown to the magnet now. I wish I hadn't uh, done that. But there's several little bits in there. Um, it's easier for me to mark it on Photoshop, but look down there on that bottom corner. There's some iron filings. As I say, when I, um, uh, before I opened this meter up originally, I had been using wire wool and I was wearing a jumper. And... Um, almost certainly that uh, was the, the problem there anyway what I'm going to do I'm going to um, remove any debris with a little bit of sellotape uh, what I've got here if I can get it in shot is a little bit of sellotape in the tweezers uh, typically uh, what I'd expect to do is um, with the movement in a, a little vice uh, I would have the sellotape and then a piece of copper wire and I would uh, apply the sellotape 
uh, I would apply the sellotape to the magnet and lift off any parts. But I say it's very difficult for me to uh, get me uh, and the tweezers and the camera where I want to get them but uh, hopefully you get the idea. I'm going to have to put this in the vise because I would like you to be able to see what I'm doing. Hopefully you can see the, uh, the bit of material there. Pressing the sellotape onto the debris with a bit of copper wire. There you go. These are the slivers of sellotape. Okay, after that little detour, um, I've now got the meter reassembled, and you'll see I've got nice uh, smooth running now from end to end. So what I will do is I'll put a little bit of letra set to actually mark the uh, the end stops. Let's get a little bit beyond it. Again, come back a little bit there. Uh, the meter is almost touching the scale at this side. I may have to lift that a little. I think that's good and then when uh, this little bit's in place just want to make sure that that could impede the uh, uh, the meter needle movement so I just want to check that it doesn't that's good all right so it looks as though yes it the uh, the bit of plastic there is going to get in the way so that one's trimming off man it's never straightforward is it okay i've just trimmed a, a little bit off there with a scalpel so that uh, no matter where the plastic is it can't be the first point of contact okay after that uh, unexpected detour of cleaning the meter i'll switch the power on so that's my uh, zero position is set um, so I can't see directly above but hopefully they're in line and um, uh, as I go to my to my red line there go just beyond so that's back to my red line and I've got about 40 degrees of over travel there and the meter is accommodating that 40 meter uh, 40 degrees Mm, the battery's obviously gone flat there. So that's my 350, three, so that's my 360 degrees at the other end of the scale. Now I'll go over to the red mark. I'll go just beyond it, so as you can see the meter's accommodating it. Come back to the red mark. And again I've got 40 degrees so what I've done is I've uh, I've got another uh, 80 degrees of uh, readable scale of that meter and I've also cleaned all of the uh, uh, the scrap iron out of the instrument anyway um, I hope you found that interesting guys thanks for watching bye bye